So there are many online reviews on the Harbor Freight Central Machinery Ultrasonic Cleaner. Lots of unboxings and, and all of that. Uh, the only thing I can say about unboxing, turn it upside down, it slides right out. It's very well packaged uh, and it's fully assembled. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is kind of how I use it uh, that's this different from most. Uh, many will throw the cleaning fluid, whether it's CLR, whether it's Pine Sol, whether it's uh, carburetor cleaner or, or whatever, directly into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Turn it on, that's how they clean their parts. Then if they need to clean something else with another solvent or solution or the solution is, is is dirty then they drain it and refill it what i do is for carburetors as an example i did a uh, weed eater carburetor i didn't i didn't film it uh that i needed to clean i put it in uh, a glass jar similar to a mason jar put gasoline inside the mason jar and just put the mason jar inside the ultrasonic cleaner. Came out perfect. Uh, what I did with these tools on, on the bench, and I didn't video it, but, but these tools were completely rusted. The uh, ratchet rec mechanism was, was locked up on the ratchet. Uh, they were actually got wet in in 2017 during a brackish slash saltwater flood so they were pretty nasty so i ran them in the ultrasonic cleaner with just simple pine soil for 30 minutes i think i had the temperature uh set up around 70 degrees celsius or so if i remember correctly ran them for 30 minutes and this is how they came out when it came out of the pine sole solution, uh, the ratchet was fully freed up. Um, I did lubricate it after that, uh, but it worked in both directions. So what I do, or I should say what I did in this case, is I simply took a Ziploc bag, poured the pine sole in it, right, threw the stuff I was going to clean in it, and uh, put the bag into the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, I did a couple uh, uh, cleanings of tools that I had in, in the same box that had gotten wet in the same toolbox. Uh, and really, it was just laziness that I didn't throw all these tools out uh, years ago. Um, <clears throat> so today, what I thought I would do is I have pretty much the last of that, uh, which is this nastiness here. Um, I was just going to throw that stuff in there, uh, let it go for 30 minutes, and then come back and actually see. I don't have high hopes for most of this. Like this, I mean, it's just completely frozen. Uh, I put a pair of pliers on it a couple minutes ago and couldn't get it to budge. Um, there's a lot of rust. Um, CLR would probably be better for this. Uh, but my wife, who normally likes the lemon-flavored pine sole, bought this because they were out of the lemon flavor. And she absolutely detests the smell of the regular pine sole. So, you know, my garage, when I was done with the last batch, uh, smelled like a uh, janitor's closet. But uh, we'll see how it, how it does on this stuff. Uh, these wrenches, I did take some pictures of what they look like, uh, before and after. I will, uh, try and, uh, add those, uh, to the video. Uh, the ultrasonic cleaner I bought a month or so ago at Harbor Freight with a $60 off coupon. So it was $119. Um, it is advertised as a six liter uh that's a, must have been measured by by a man so it doesn't hold near six liters uh what is in it now is just basic distilled water 
that I used last time. It holds a little over a gallon. So right here is the fill line. I got it filled a little bit below that. So when I put uh, the stuff in the Ziploc bag and dump it in there, uh, it won't overfill. So I just noticed when I turned the thing on, I didn't adjust the temperature. So I will just adjust that real, real quick up to 70 or I think, yeah, 80 is as high as it goes. So I just turned it on about 20 minutes ago. So it's, it's hot, but not real hot. So, uh, with that being said, I will come back and, uh, when I dump the uh, tools in the ultrasonic cleaner. So I added the pine sole to a used uh, Ziploc freezer bag. I have my wife save these. I put like oil filters and stuff like that in them. Uh, but anyway, I put just enough in there to uh, cover everything. Um, these bags are probably good for one or two uses. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't get some leakage into the uh, distilled water. Uh, this would probably heat up a lot better as a, if uh, I would have had the lid on it. <laughs> so let me just lower this down in like so. Throw the lid on, uh, the heat is already on, so I will set the timer to 30 minutes and hit You can hear it's not very loud, uh, having a background ultrasonic cleaners have been used to clean medical and dental instruments for literally years. So having one of these things around uh, for little odds and ends is a good thing. Uh, I would have actually preferred a larger one, uh, but with that being said, uh, this seems to work well. I just noticed my lid rose of oh, the water that's here is actually from the lid not from uh, the valve leaking what I'm going to do is the bump out what I didn't do was release any of the air out of this bag before I uh, put it in so I'm going to do that real quick and just kind of uh, let it go and I will bring you guys back and uh, show you what they look like. Another little thing I made while I was out here in the garage just goofing around was a little plate for this tripod. This is a standard tri size tripod. So what I did was just tack welded a little nut on the bottom. Uh, I didn't even drill through the plate. And then I uh, just mounted this little... Uh, phone holder to it. So I will bring you back in 29 minutes. Okay, looks like we got about a minute left. Let's see how it did. Another thing to note about this ultrasonic cleaner is that the basket has little plastic feet on it, little rubber feet actually, that uh, are supposed to uh, protect the basket, uh, or actually protect the ultrasonic cleaner from metal to metal contact with the basket. When they recommend that 
you turn the heat on and let it heat up with the basket out so that the uh, heating element doesn't accidentally uh, melt the little uh, rubber feet that come on to the bottom of the basket. What I did is I just reinforced that rubber with some uh, uh, shrink wrap tubing uh, and that seems to be holding up fine so I never pulled the uh, the basket out when I turn it on. Okay, let's get the lid off and see what this stuff looks like. I'm not sure, I should have grabbed my infrared thermometer, I'm not sure what the temperature got up to. I seriously doubt if it uh, if it got up to 80 degrees Celsius. Uh, it just hasn't been on that long. So, let's see if I can manage to get this out of here without burning myself. Because the water is kind of hot. I'm just going to open it up. The bag's not leaking. That's a good thing. Uh, hopefully you can see how uh, nasty that pine saw got uh, in that little 30 minute bath. And this is my first time using that little tripod, so I have no idea if you're seeing any of this actually. So, I'm just going to sit that there for a minute and uh, grab a pair of pliers out of the toolbox and start uh, pulling stuff out. There's the Allen wrench. It was pretty rusty when it went in there. Uh, sockets. Much better. <laughs> uh, an old spark plug. Jeez. This may be the new way of cleaning spark plugs. That thing looks outstanding. I think uh, uh, what I did last time is I just uh, let all the stuff cool off. Well, you can just see the the rust that's still stuck to that. Uh, and for the most part, it just just wipes off. Uh, you, know, you could always run this stuff through for a second time, uh, but that was. Pretty nasty. Let's see, let me just quickly pull the rest of this junk out of here. Course, you know, I can put on a glove and make this a lot easier. I could also dump this uh, pine soil, pine soil, if that's how you pronounce it, and uh, make getting the tools out much easier then. But I actually plan on using this stuff again. Yeah, considering the shape of these items when they went in there, uh, this is pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm very happy with that. This is another spark plug. Uh, this sp spark plug, I can tell because it doesn't have an electrode on it, uh, is about 20 years old. It came from a force outboard engine and it was all rusted and nasty looking when it went in. Of course, uh, you know, 
all of the stuff will need to be just wiped off. still in there. Uh, the pine saw actually uh, got so dirty just with that one use it's uh... <laughs> uh, this thing we'll see what it looks like I had absolutely no hope for it is a little warm. Uh, this thing does a pretty decent job of heating up actually. Let's see. There's probably something else in there. Uh, I, will I will pull that out when it's cool. Oh, wow. Here, just take you off the, uh, my little homemade tripod there. That actually worked pretty, pretty good. Uh, and show you what we got. Much better. Uh, yeah, the sockets just came out beautiful. So did, so did that. Uh, all of this, of course, will need to be just wiped off. Uh, guess there is. Amazing. This was all pretty much rusted junk that was dusted for the for the trash can. Um, all the stuff is freed up now, working well. The sockets are more than usable. Uh, now this thing, I wish I would have gotten a close up of it before I put it into the bath. Um, I'm going to take this of course as brass. Uh, it's very clean. I'm going to take and throw some uh, PB Blaster on this and uh, see if it frees it up. Um, very impressive. So this uh, video helps you out uh, let me know by clicking the like button or uh, if you have any questions please uh, ask them in the comments uh, these are just little videos that uh, I started doing just to uh, for the sake of doing them I have a little uh, OCD issues right so when I go to buy something I probably watched six or seven videos on this ultrasonic cleaner before I went down and and spent my hard earned money on it um, most everyone pours the cleaning liquid directly in the ultrasonic cleaner uh, you get very good results by doing it this way and as you can see the distilled water is still good to go um, and again, what I put in there was just plain old distilled water. Uh, six liters is an absolute joke. Like I said, held a little bit over a gallon. Uh, but I don't think you're going to get like a four barrel automotive carburetor in there. Uh, you, you will definitely get uh, uh, the pieces in. Uh, but you won't be able to put it in there whole 
I don't believe. Uh, there are larger uh, ultrasonic cleaners. I was looking at the Vivor uh, 31 liter. Um, I may still buy that one. Uh, 119 compared to, I think the Vivor is 275. Um, yeah, this works fine. And actually gives me the confidence to actually spend the money on the, on the larger one. Uh, if I decide I need that extra capacity uh, down the road. So, pretty uh, interesting. There's still some, a little bit of rust on this, uh, on this Torx driver here. Uh, but again, it's, it's all loosened now. You can just, it, it just flakes off. If I would have wiped that off uh, as soon as it came out of the ultrasonic cleaner, it would have came clean on the rag, I have, I have no doubt. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, if you have any questions or any uh, ways that uh, you use your ultrasonic cleaner that you think uh, I haven't thought of, uh, I know that I have a friend that uses it. He reloads his own ammunition. He uses it to clean his brass, and he puts his brass in a Ziploc bag like this, right? Fills it up with uh, uh, Dawn dishwashing detergent, I think, and uh, some some lemon chemical, you know, his own little concoction, right? Uh, but the brass comes out, you know, just, just like the shell uh, was new. So uh, he uh, swears by it. Then he just takes it out of that solution, blows it off with compressed air, and uh, goes about his reloading. So another good good use. Um, so I will uh, put a link uh, to this ultrasonic cleaner. Again, it's available at Harbor Freight. Uh, wait till it goes on sale. It's $175 normally, I think. I paid $119, uh, which is a great deal for what it is. Um, and again, if uh, this uh, information in this video was helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. I don't know how many more of these I, I'll do. Uh, I will see you soon.